shit, it's as big as my head. <laughs> That's a party penis right there. <laughs> a little bit of penoplasty on this phone. Seems a little bit wrong. Hey, buddy, you're okay. There's the end of his willy right in here. So, um. That's not a good thing, is it? Well, it feels actually like the normal end of a willy. <laughs> as much as it can when you live inside that thing. How are you doing? Hello. Is anybody there? Yeah, it's a boy. son of a gun. Hey, he likes me. It's a boy. Um, I reckon all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this back. Um, and then carefully, we'll see if the penis is there, and then what we'll do is modify this prep piece. So we'll circumcise him. He won't work on Saturdays anymore, as I said, but we'll see how we go. Wow, that's that's uh, pretty awesome. That's good, I boy. What do you mean? Gloves on, you don't worry. Good, man, we'll stick to it. Right, here you go. Alright, you need to be quiet. Okay, okay. He might not like this too much. We'll see how we go. Moving in my surgical field. Hopefully prevent him from kicking me in the head. I won't get as close. What we work on is the kit. Wouldn't let me do our lit lease. And I've, and I've, 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 I've no idea why. Finally, run the argument like, oh, I'd like to get him circumcised. She said, Why? Said, well, because I'm circumcised. You know, I don't want him in the shower going, Dad, why does your dick look different? <laughs> so, anyway, round and round we go. And then finally, she won the argument. She said, Well, if we circumcise them, they can't put it back on. I said, Well, they're cool. So, it's got to be their decision. And they're little babies. I can't tell you. Do you want your. Do you? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I said, All right, you win. This is a classic example for getting it done. Yeah, if this could have been circumcised, heck. Yeah. If it could have gone into the synagogue, you'd have been fine. <laughs> Now, I, I thought that his, um, I thought that his uh, penis would be up here, yeah, that's what and then this would just be the prepuce, but because his penis is still involved in this, I'm not as enthusiastic as I was about it, the potential for a positive outcome. But. Yeah. 
We'll give it a crack, as they say. Uh, he's going to come up to Sally, mate. Ah, oh, yep, 100%. Yep. And it means he's not enjoying himself, I think, with this thing. It's a good thing to get done, guys. Good job. Um, it, we believe that it normally starts as a, a virus, bovine herpes virus, which results in infectious blenoposthitis and pustular vulvovaginitis, which is possibly the longest named syndrome in bovine history. It's a mouthful. I think you need, a, you need to go to vet school just to learn to say it. Um, and so it gets inflamed and then they keep working and it gets more and more pissed off. And then um, eventually it... Yeah, is that a bull problem or a cow problem? Um, it's, so it's... An infectious blenoposcitis means the penis and the prepuce. Uh, Volvo vaginitis means the cow. So when the cows get it, they get like a spustular, spussy vagina. Or a vagina a pussy. One of the two. <laughs> and um, the, uh, as, uh, and then that's how it's transmitted. So a bull gives it to a cow, and then another bull serves that cow, and then he gets it, the way we think it works. Yeah. And um, yeah, so the key is to, if you catch it early, and and then um, give them sexual rest, and hopefully everything will settle down. Oh, okay. um, so it's not something where we're going to have some massive outbreak. Oh no! It, it seems to me, in in the in my in cases that I've seen and dealt with, that every bull gets exposed to it in their first joining in Australia, oh, if they okay. haven't already been exposed. And then it's just a matter of um, how severe you, it is. Ah, uh, well, when I first got here, a lot of people would say that I'd show up and go. Yeah, God dang it, brand new, brand new bull, and he must have got it caught in the fence. And I said, well, I've never seen a bull root a fence, but I'm sure it can happen. Um, and then, uh, and I, they go, gosh dang it, it's a brand new bull, he's only been two weeks. Two weeks in the field, and already he's broken down. I said, yeah, that is a bummer. And then um, I'd drive to the next place, and the guy would be like, gosh dang it, it's a brand new bull, it just broke down in the first two weeks. Like, well, that's weird, it's what the last guy said. And then I go to the next place, and God dang it, brand new bull, just broke down. What couldn't it be in an old bull? This has got to be infectious. So we started collecting blood from them, and everyone I checked had antibodies type ER, which is another bovine herpes virus, and they look similar on the blood test. So then we started doing scrapings from some of the early ones, and we've actually found the virus in, in the prepuce. So. All righty, oh guys, let's see how we go, hey? So the virus going to stay there? Yeah, hundred percent. Yep. And, um, and then another thing that kind of brought, that, another thing, <laughs> so you want to kind of cut this in an ellipse guys, so I'll come in like this initially, so, yeah, because we want the opening, we want the opening to stay as big as we can. So I'm going to go full thickness to the inside of the lumen of the of the penis, or the prepuce. We just got to go really nice and slow. And then what I'll do is I'll stitch that back to that. Local's pretty good. A bit of blood there, buddy. That's true. 
get this new car service. Oh, the ball. <laughs> Hey buddy, you're okay. Hey son. I got a lot of blood. returning from. Do you have a um do you have one of those big bandits for doing the for doing big castrations? Yeah. Is that close by? What's that? Is that close by? Yeah. yeah. Just to stop the bleeding yeah. above. And then a bit of poly pipe. Yeah, how long do you want poly pipe? Um, oh, about maybe a foot long. Alright, so we got oh, oh, this shit's coming off, so let's open it up. How round, Danny? About 32 mil. Um, probably about. Is that bigger end? So it's getting blood supply and the penis is separate. So I wonder if the penis is still under here. I'm just kind of. That could be the. Man, this, is the, this could be the mucosa and this is the skin layer. So I want to, I'm just not ballsy enough to just cut into here. Because in case I damage the penis. There's a good chance it's buggered anyway, eh? Yeah. You yeah. could tell us otherwise and it wouldn't matter. Good job. Could be that the fornix of the penis is involved in this. You know what I mean? Like where it 
where the prep use attaches to the to the penis can be involved in this. Come here, scalpel. Let's get some of this shit off here so we can see what we're doing. Get open. Big rock hard lump of shit, is it? Yeah. It's coconut. <laughs> it's a pineapple with it. Coconut it. Alright. There's the stick right there in my hand. He's got a lot of it. Fuck, I'm gonna get pretty bloody. You know, chainsaw. end of a stick there. I've been able to avoid it. Good deal. Hey. There's the end of his dick. Looks like it's okay. Whew. Fucking lucky. That's not broken or nothing in. All I gotta do is stitch that back to that. Any bowling pins? <laughs> now you need to put that in your mouth, like. Yeah. <laughs> Have a chew on it like that bloody bulbous thing you did there. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Does that heal? Was it? No, he showed me the, the video. The lovely video. That one didn't make YouTube. Mm -hmm. So there's his willy. Let's see, see if I can invert this. Uh, tie that back to that. Uh, let's ligate these bleeders, team. 
Told you, we set those little stickers in there. Excuse me, you're late, 15 days. Coming over here and just rolling that out for me, so so I can kind of see it. Just do that for me. Come around on this side of me. All right, ooh, that'll do. Yeah, that'll be good if you want. Literally like squeezing a hose. If I squeeze up above, they stop. <laughs> Oh, what have we got to have an essay written up by tomorrow morning, Annick, for this? For the kiddos? For the, for the prac students. <laughs> a thousand word essay or something, <laughs> isn't that what you're meant to do? Oh, you could write a hundred and I wouldn't be bothered. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just finished exams, so we're... Uh... <laughs> yeah, hundred sounds good. Yeah, thank you. Don't even I got it. I got it. I had my mouth open. That's the thing. <laughs> Fresh blood. Yeah, that's alright. Lucky it's not out the ball. No. <laughs> For this purpose, also, it wasn't. <laughs> so, this is an absorbable suture, guys. There's nowhere for the blood to go, so it'll uh, I'll get a hematoma there. Same concepts as doing the eye. Yeah, similar. Because you have no fornix rack. Because it was right down to the end. The fornix is where the prep piece attaches to the penis. And it was, that was involved right at the end. That's why his dick was trapped down there. Because oh. he's not going to be able to pull the stick back in. So hopefully this will kind of just stay pink. And, uh, and we can get him on the track. Be able to pull it back in? I don't think so. 
He's got no um. But now I'm pulling it out, man. Yeah, so. The um, because he pulled it all the way down in the process. All the, the stuff that it slides up in there. Is there any prevention any? There's a vaccine you can give them. Obviously not this you get. No, Bovillus MH plus IBR. Or or Rhino Guard. But Rhino Guard you've got gonna buy in fifty doses at a time. That MH plus IBR we, we drop individual doses for people. Sorry, Chucky. Wow, this is pretty intense, team. Jeez. Come on, buddy. Probably how AFL got started. <laughs> <laughs> See? So, all my job is enough to do some calves, so. Yeah, but it's an STD. <laughs> yeah, but. Hi, <laughs> right, you won't get a calf. If, you, if <laughs> your main job was producing cars, you wouldn't be here. Mind you, looking at some of these. You would have went to the other side. Too big a birth weight. You would have went to the other side. good on efforts. Careful, yeah. Alice is only uh, <laughs> 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 Final 
orada. Where are we going? Camping, any? Ah, out east desperate. Beach or scrabble? Beach. Fishing? Beach, bro. Beach. Oh, I might do a bit of fishing. I might do a bit of surfing. To keep the keep the sharks away. Um, wash your hands of the blood and you'll be right. Yeah, just put it on top of the moon. If it doesn't taste bad, it doesn't kill you. Yeah. Yeah, here's what it is, really. I need cat shit. It tasted good. <laughs> Plus, hungry enough. Uh, Luckily, this stuff tastes horrible. Thank you. Ben? Super penis holder? <laughs> Put on my CV new double title. <laughs> Roddy, penis holder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you only need one hand, Ben. You can really be sealed with that. <laughs> it normally takes two hands to hold a woman. <laughs> need the other one to scroll. I'll go bite into it, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gone it. There you go. 